how to pay for taxes and fees when buying a property in Brazil. Well, in Brazil, before the closing, you got to pay uh, the taxes on the transaction and also the associated fees. Okay, This got to be paid before the date of the closing. The main tax that you will pay is the ITBI, that's how we pronounce in Portuguese. In English, we would say ITBI, which means tax on real estate transactions. Okay, uh, this tax is usually around 3%. It is charged by the municipality where the real estate is located. So, you know, there may be different rules depending on where your property is located. It's not like a federal tax that's going to be applicable everywhere. Uh, it's going to differ, you know, and you got to check uh, with your lawyer or with, with the realtor in charge of the transaction how much is going to be the tax. In addition to this tax, there are going to be fees uh, charged by the registration offices. Uh, there are two main registration offices in charge of the closing. Uh, the main one who actually does the closing, where people go over there, you know, to sign the documents. Uh, you usually, you know, have a meeting between the seller and the buyer. And then there are the registration offices, officers uh, over there to, you know, to check the documents and so on. Uh, there are two main ones. There is one in charge of the title transfer. Okay, this is when you go to the registration office and you sign like a book. It's not actually a book today. They have like loose uh, sheets of paper, but they're official papers. And the notary, uh, the registration officer is going to stamp, is going to sign as well. So this is when you kind of it's not the contract, right? The contract you sign way back at the beginning of the process. This is like the closing. So imagine you are in the US for a closing, right? You have the official date when you sign the document in a place and there are other people, uh, there may be a lawyer and so on and so on. So this is what I'm talking about over here. This is the date of the closing and you sign the title transfer document, okay? This is a very important step. As soon as you sign the document, uh, that's when we usually gonna pay the seller on behalf of our clients. And at that moment in time, there is no way for the seller to go back, right? Because the transfer, the, 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 the title was transferred to the buyer. There is no way back. Now, this is the first registration office. And then there is a second registration office that's in charge to record, to record the transfer of title and to make that accessible to third parties. So that's when whatever you did with the seller, right? The transfer of the title is going to become enforceable against third parties. First registration office, that's when you get, you know, your situation resolved with the seller. Second registration office, Whatever you sign with the seller, right, the agreement, the transfer of title is going to be made available through a database. So everyone else in theory is going to know that the property is now yours. OK, um, each of those registration offices, they are going to charge you different monies. Uh, sometimes uh, registration offices, they are going to, uh, you know, tell you, you know, this is uh, how much I estimate in terms of fees send all the money to me, I'm going to pay the invoices on your behalf and on the day of the closing, if there is a difference, I can return you or you can pay me if, you know, there is a, a gap in terms of what, what I charged you before. The, uh, you know, some registration offices, they're going to work like that. All the registration offices, they're going to just give you the individual invoices for you to pay each of them and then to send the, you know, receipts to the registration office. Okay, so it really depends on which part of the country you are in. And, you know, this is going to often dictate the kind of practice that the registration office is going to is going to follow. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, total costs, as I said, you know, the main tax is like 3% of the real estate value. Additional charges like registration fees and, you know, other things, it could cost you additional 2%. So, you know, the, the, the usual ballpark estimate, whenever you, someone asks you, all right, I'm going to buy a property in Brazil, 
how much I'm going to pay in, in, in taxes and fees, they're going to tell you, oh, it's about 5%, right? So um, you never know exactly how much is going to be up front, but if you use like 5%, sometimes for foreign citizens, I, I, I could say even, you know, up to 8%, because then uh, uh, there are additional charges for the POF attorney, uh, you know, for sworn translations and so on. So worst case scenario, 8%, usually, you know, it stays closer to 5, 6% of the property value in terms of taxes and fees.